Hey, you know how when you're solving algebra equations, you never know how to start? How do I start is the most common question I get. So I'm going to address that today with this method called the do undo method. I love this. I wish I knew this 25 years ago. I have been teaching this whole time without knowing this. So here's our first example. We're going to solve for x. 10x plus 7 equals 27. So first thing, there's the x that we need to figure out what it is. So you do this undo undo chart, set something like this up on a piece of scratch paper or off to the side, and we're gonna start with that X, put that in the first spot. The way you fill out this table, we figure out what is happening to the X if we were going to do this problem using order of operations, the first thing that's happening to that X is it's being multiplied times 10. So I just put a times 10 here. And then after that happens, they are adding a seven. So I do a plus seven. And all of that is supposed to equal 27. Now, in order to actually solve for the X, we have to undo all of that. So we have this undo column. We start on the bottom. Now we're gonna be going backwards. We're gonna undo it. Starting with the 27. Now, looking at your table, just do the opposite of what you see. Instead of a plus seven, we're going to do a minus seven. And instead of a multiply times 10, you do divide by 10. And when we do all of those in that order going up, we're going to end up with an answer for X. So let's see if we can figure out what the answer is going to be before we even start solving. So 27 minus 7 is 20. And then 20 divided by 10 is 2. All right, that's what we should get. Now we go over to the equation. The very first step is the minus seven. So that's what you're gonna do over here. You're gonna subtract the seven first. Positive seven minus seven just goes away and we end up with the 10X equal to 27 minus seven, which is 20. You probably know what to do next, but just in case you don't, you go back to your table, divide by 10. It tells you right there. Okay, I'm gonna divide both sides by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, so we end up with 1x equals 2. 20 divided by 10 is 2. This is showing your work for me, guys. This is what I want to see. At some point, you're going to get good enough but that you can do this without a do-undo table. But I love these do-undo tables. They just lay it out for you ahead of time. It's like a little blueprint for what you're going to do. Let's do example two. Looks a little different. All right, there's my do undo table. Find your variable. It's this a right here. We're going to solve for that. Well, what's happening to the a? It's being divided by five. So we write that in the do column. After that, they're adding a 10. And all of that is supposed to equal seven. Okay, that's what's happening to the a. In order to solve for the a, we have to unwrap that. We have to undo that. So these red steps going up are going to be what we do to start solving this equation. So you start with the seven. What's the opposite of adding a 10? Subtracting a 10. The opposite of dividing by five is multiplying by five. Seven minus 10 is a negative three. Negative three times five is negative 15. So after we finish the algebra, we know that the answer is negative 15. All right, so now we go over here. We have to do it the way we're supposed to do it. Algebra is how you write it, so we have to write it properly. The question always is, how do I start? You're not sure, you look over at your undo table, minus 10. So we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. That's gonna just zero out. And we're left with a over 5. a divided by 5 equals 7 minus 10 is negative 3. What to do next? Well, we already have it figured out. We're going to multiply by 5. Both sides get multiplied by 5. Multiplying and division undo each other. They cancel out. So we left with 1a equals negative 15. And this would get you full credit. Example 3. Looks a little weird, starting out with a negative, so this could be tricky. I wanted to do one of these. Start by making your do-undo table to figure out your steps. There is my variable, x. That's the first thing that goes into your do-undo table. What is happening to the x? Well, immediately it's being divided by 6, so I put divide by 6. And then after that, they are adding a negative 5. How do you write that in the undo table? That's a little tricky. But adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, so I'm just going to put a minus 5 here. And that's supposed to equal a negative 6. All right, here we go. We're going to do our undo steps. Starting with an answer of negative 6 to undo. The first thing we would undo 
is this negative 5, and we will undo that by adding a 5. It might make more sense now that you see that. And then we're going to undo a divide by 6 by multiplying by 6. All right, if we work all that out, negative 6 plus 5 is a negative 1. Negative 1 times 6 is going to be a negative 6. I didn't write it in here, but we're going to do the go right over here and do the algebra. Here's our steps. What's the first step? We have to add a 5. That is the first step, so I'm going to add a 5 underneath that. You're always trying to cancel things out, so that's why that is the first step. And we get x over 6 equals negative 1. The second step would be to multiply by 6. And these are going to cancel, and we end up with x equals negative 6. All right, let's look at another example, example 4. 3 minus 7n equals 59. I start with my do undo table, but before I even start, I mean, I know my n is right here, but I'm looking at this. I'm not exactly sure what's happening to the n. Is it this is subtraction 7? Probably the best move here to make this do undo table thing work out well for you is to rewrite this as 3 plus a negative 7 times n, because that's really what's happening here. So then what is happening to that n? It is being multiplied by a negative 7. So I write that in my table. And then after that, there's a 3 being added, and that's supposed to equal 59. We go back and do the undo side, which is the cool part. Starting with the 59, we do the opposite of adding 3, which is subtracting 3. We do the opposite of multiplying by a minus 7, which is dividing by a negative 7. 59 minus 3 is 56. And then 56 divided by negative 7, that is a negative 8. Let's go over here and do the algebra. The first step, subtract 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0, that's gone, so the minus 7n comes down. 59 minus 3 is 56. The second step would be to divide by the negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1, so that just cancels out, and we're left with n equals 56 divided by negative 7 is negative 8, because we already figured that out. Grab your notebook. I have some triads I want you to do right now. All right, how'd you do on those? If you are in my class, ask me questions in real life. If you are not in my class, drop questions down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Click into this video next. Bye.